Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Karen. I see Rosa, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, people, we need to start the class. Um, we're going to start by calling the attendance, even though your classmates are having trouble joining, maybe it's the same issue as yesterday. Uh, something happened, right? Um, I didn't have the space to, to report it earlier, uh, but I did it um, a while ago. So I'm still waiting for, um, for an explanation if that affects the attendance score, all right? Actually, it's not going to affect, but um, it's giving you some trouble to stay connected. That's what I was asking for, what was going on, all right? What had have happened? So let's, okay, let's begin. Let's begin, guys. So, Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez, Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez, Carlos Ernesto Pérez, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Sí, teacher. Ok. Mm, Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present, teacher. Ok. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Hernán. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Yamilet. Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Ok. Magdiel Esau García Sao Morales. García. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Good evening teacher. Present. All right. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. José Abel Aguirre Mendoza. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Bien, recordemos, yo sé que casi todos los que están aquí ya van bien adelante en la plataforma, pero necesito hacerles eh, manifiesto, ¿verdad? Que necesitamos trabajar en la plataforma, jóvenes. Miren, la plataforma es para que en su tiempo libre ustedes repasen los temas que hemos visto acá, ¿verdad? Ahí pueden surgir dudas que después ustedes le preguntan a la teacher aquí en la clase o le preguntan a sus compañeros también, ¿verdad? Es una manera para poder estar en contacto. Bien, uh, necesito que por favor los... Hello, Henry. Henry. Hello, uh, teacher. Hello, Maciel. Es que, uh, me, ajá, no, diga. No estoy segura si me escuchó cuando right. pasó listo. Sí, sí Maciel, sí la escuché. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, hello, teacher. Hi, Henry. Teacher, sorry, I, I'm still on the road. I'm going from, uh, go to Santa Ana from San Salvador. All right, so, okay, no problem, no problem. Please, eyes on the road, all right? All right. All right. There you go. Well, people, 
we were talking about the platform. It's really important. Está bastante vacía la plataforma. Solo tengo algunos de ustedes que han trabajado todito en su, en su tiempo correcto, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando de que solamente son, al, los estuve contando ayer, alrededor de ocho personas que han trabajado a tiempo. Es muy pocos. Quiere decir que no están trabajando en la plataforma. ¿Hay, alguna, ¿Hay algún impedimento o algo que les esté afectando con la plataforma? No, teacher. Dígame, Karen. Ando algo perdida. ¿Hasta qué ejercicio tendríamos que tener trabajado? Vaya, hoy es la videoconferencia 16. Tiene que ahora, después de la clase, es la, la tarea 16, ¿verdad? Es la tarea 16. Entonces, quiere decir que cada martes eh, había que haber presentado cada unidad, ¿verdad? El, como nos corrimos un día, ayer tuvo que haber finalizado hasta la 15, porque era fin de unidad. Siempre ah, yo que pensé que estaba atrasada. <ríe> Siempre que vamos finalizando. Ah, hay otro detalle. Fíjense que tal vez algunos eh, donde no les da el, el campo, ¿verdad? No se esfuerzan por el 100. Esfuércense por el 100, por favor, porque es necesario que usted consiga. A veces no es una cuestión de conocimiento o cuestión del lenguaje, sino que simplemente es una cuestión técnica, ¿verdad? Del... del, del la plataforma. Entonces, esas cosas son superables. Incluso fuera superable también lo del conocimiento si le preguntamos a la teacher, ¿verdad? Así que estamos en toda la disponibilidad de ayudarles, ¿ok? O, no me gusta mucho decir ayudarles porque en realidad es apoyarlos, ¿ok? Apoyarlos porque en realidad cada uno hace su trabajo de acuerdo a su tiempo, en su momento, va asimilando a su manera y a su modo, ¿verdad? A su propio ritmo. Entonces, eh, yo solo le apoyo en eso, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Bien. Dicho eso, el día de hoy, todos, todos tenemos que ponernos al día, ¿ok? Solo tengo, quiero ver, Ellen Nilsson, creo que Wilber es el otro que ha finalizado... Eh, Rafael todavía me debe eh, vamos a ver <ríe> ahorita estamos cobrando la deuda vamos a <ríe> Ajá, este, sí, necesitamos que por favor todos, a ver Hazel ha trabajado bien discúlpeme que le mandé un mensaje ¿verdad? pero era para que elevara un poquito la, la calificación de donde le salía un 84 o un 80 y algo 80, 85 más o menos pero sí había sí, hecho pues, lo que yo le pedía. <risa> perdón, sí, perdón. Okay. No, me había quedado porque pensé que la plataforma no me lo agarraba en, en la, el examen. Okay, y fíjate okay. que ese lo estoy poniendo de bastantes formas y también como lo pusieron los compañeros, pero no me agarra. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál? En la, en la que donde le sale el 84 creo que era la tarea 8, ¿verdad? Mm, they are y they, they is, creo que es. Ajá, es como la tarea 8 más o Ah, no, Ajá. entonces es en la 1, ¿verdad? Sí, ah, de vale. la segunda, creo. Es, es que lo que pasa es que en una, en, en esas dos que le hacen falta a usted solo es de poner el verbo, ¿ok? Eh, en una es de poner el verbo are, creo la, yo. Ajá. Creo que es la de persons, que persona del trabajo. Era la última, la última que no me sale. Ok, no, en esa, en esa creo que debe de decir offices, si no me equivoco. Si no okay. me equivoco. Ajá, offices. Ajá, Va. en plural. Ah, pues voy a ponerle así. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero revisen que sea esa y no estemos hablando cruzado de otra. No, sí, okay. sí, sí. Creo right. que sea. Vaya, perfecto. ¿Me decía Wilber? Good evening, teacher. Good Hello, good evening. Classmates. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Estamos hablando de ponernos al día, Wilber, con las tareas. Este día tienen que estar realizadas hasta la número 16. Ya no más, ¿verdad? Ya descansamos un ratito. Así que, por favor, tienen que quedar finalizadas ahora. Hemos pasado auditorías en donde ya, ya nos contaron que muy pocos están entregando tarea a tiempo. Así que tengo que pasar yo también el dato acá, ¿ok? Ya, la, ya las hice, no hay problema. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, good evening, Andrea. 
first. Ajá. Dígame, Andrea, lo logró. Okay. Ay, sí. Okay. Uh, okay. It was a traffic jam. Ajá. Horrible. Was it heavy? Yeah. Mm. Ella se encontraba por allá por la cárcava. Uh -huh. Por la cárcava de, por de la sí. escalón. Uh -huh. Yo trabajo cerca del Real de Luceiro, bajar uh -huh. todo eso es un caos. Me sí, imaginará cómo está. Sí, Cerraron está cerrado. Ok. A ver, eh, me decía alguien algo, Rafael, creo. Sí, la disculpa del caso, esta época del año es bastante difícil para nosotros. Entonces necesito, necesito salir con el trabajo y... Yo comprendo, pero, yo comprendo y se han fijado que no los molesto mucho. Ok, ok, está bien Rafael, está bien. Es que lo nombré pensando en que había finalizado y después dije, oh no, iba a pensar que me aparece completo, oh, tuve que decir. All right, I'm sorry Rafael, yo sé que usted siempre ha sido responsable, ok, siempre ha sido responsable y sé que es por razones de trabajo porque ya me lo externó, ok. All right. People, we are going to start the class tonight. We are starting a new unit, but to start the first, I mean, the fourth unit, uh, we are going to finish just the page number 38. We have to write a paragraph, all right? On the platform, I posted an activity. So let's go everybody to the platform and we are going to work in groups. Uh, you have to write a paragraph using all the vocabulary on unit three, all right? What are you going to write? Ah, so write about. Uh, just give me one second and I will show you, all right? I'll show you what you have to do. Okay, here we go. Alguien ya está dentro de la plataforma? No, yo creo que ya estoy. Aquí estoy. Ok, está abajo de la, de la número 15, ok, de la videoconferencia número 15. So please everybody go to the platform and go to the video conference number 15. Scroll down to the discussion, right? There we have a discussion forum, remember? So what do you have to write about? You have to write about an experience you had, all right? An experience you had with troubleshooting, all right? With troubleshooting, maybe you bought uh, a device and you couldn't set it up. So you had to call customer service or technical support for day two, uh, give you all the instructions how to set things up. So uh, this is what we are going to do, all right? We are going to tell a story right, to tell a story about troubleshooting, your own experience. Bien, ¿por qué lo vamos a hacer en grupo y no individual? Ah, para que usted pueda, contándole a su compañero, poder establecer en su mente primero, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que va a contar, ¿verdad? Y se lo va a contar a su compañero primero. Esa es la estrategia que vamos a usar para hacerlo bien, ¿ok? Entonces, por ahí tenemos the discussion, and it says my experience with troubleshooting, right? It's a seven line, seven line, right? Paragraph, seven line paragraph. All right, let's read the instructions. Write a paragraph telling an experience you have had trying to fix something by yourself, following the instructions in a user's guide manual or calling technical support, right? Use as much class vocabulary as you can. Include idioms and phrases, phrasal verbs, and present perfect, all right? So you can use any tense. The tense we usually use to tell a story is the past, I mean, the simple past. But now we can add expressions with the present perfect too, remember? There are things that start in the past and then they continue until the present, all right? So this is 
the activity. Is there any question so far about the activity? Cada uno lo va a subir individualmente, pero primero van a platicar de su experiencia con su compañero. ¿Ok? Te la van a contar para que vayan haciendo su idea. ¿Ok? Esperemos que no se nos desconecten, ¿verdad? Al momento de entrar otra vez, que igual que ayer. Teacher. Dígame, Magdalena. Me podría poner como oyente un momentito mientras llego a la casa. Ok, ok. Ok, teacher. yo le aviso. All right. Gracias. Teacher, please. Who's coming? Hello, Rafael Antonio. Yes, present. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, welcome. Okay, voy a volverlas a crear para completar. Le voy a dar a abrir, okay, a las salas y si hay algún problema, igual vamos a tratar de ubicarlo en otra sala, okay? Everybody, please join your room. Hello, Andrea. Hello, teacher. I see that you're, I mean, you're alone here, right? I will reassign you to another room, all right? Okay. Comenzaron a hacer así un, un ruido sobre eso, por la yo. ¿verdad? Ya. 
Sí, sí, es, es porque se han roto los las esferas de metal, se han... Se han eh, no, no, los se paleros se, se... Lo que pasa es que uno se lleva grasa, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y antes, antes nosotros solo hacíamos un viaje de la base al hotel, al hotel Quality. Todo, todo el tiempo. Pero últimamente hemos estado subiendo de la base a San Salvador, a San Jacinto. Entonces, ese movimiento ha desgastado la grasa de los valeros. Entonces, tuvieron a, a, a hacer un, un subido. Como un desgaste. Entonces, eh, no sé si puedo decir yo eso. No sé qué, 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 qué dices. Ajá. Porque si, según lo que tengo yo, dice... Escribe un breve párrafo sobre los problemas comunes con la maquinaria en su lugar de trabajo. Puede ser problemas mecánicos, porque hay mecánicos general ahí en el trabajo fijo que le da mantenimiento a los vehículos de los jefes en el transcurso de, de la semana. No sé. Porque eh, 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 en tu caso, ¿qué sería? ¿Qué? Computadora. Ajá, eso le iba a decir computadora. Pues no, no, más que todo la licencia de Windows se, se ha vencido, o la de Office. Eso, este, o, ajá, eso realmente. Podemos, o sea, un, ajá, vamos a usar los párrafos que, 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 que consideramos los dos. Que, Pongámosle, yo no sé nada de computadora, pero sí sé cuando el de mantenimiento le hablan para que vaya. Bueno, ahí hay, hay, hay otras cosas otra cosa de mantenimiento. Hay un hay dos electricistas, uno de aire acondicionado. <ríe> eh, eh, hay uno... All right. Hello, here I am. Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay, the activity is in the individual. Uh, so you, you, for example, Carlos Roberto can tell the story about yes. your own issue and Rafael is going to tell you, right, the issue he had, all right? Uh, the idea is to tell um, each other the experiences, all right? Hey, hey, teacher, in my work, uh -huh. yeah, only in my work is the transportation. All only, right. only transportation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's but in, good. In, in, the, in, in, the, in the bus for the transportation, go to the combat the people, but for it's the tires for in the, the room, Rio. Noise. Is, noise. The noise for the tire and the principal tire for the front. All right, is that a, a screeching noise? Yeah, the mechanic changed today for the the tire and as esferas on the van rines esferas. The change for today. All right, use your use your dictionary just for the words that you don't know because those are technical words. All right, uh, but no problem. You told me the story. The story is that your car started to make this strange noise, like screeching, right? Screech, something like okay. that, same thing, right? So then you yeah. call up the mechanic and he fixed it, right? He no, the problem is the, the mechanic inside for my, in my working every day, the Monday, uh, Friday. <laughs> oh, all right, so yeah. you- I no need to call for the mechanic. Oh, okay. The mechanic is, the, yeah, it's the mechanic inside for the, my, my work in the back. But you reported it, right? You reported that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. and the report for, for a race for the report, uh, two report for the, in the week. Only, okay. only Monday for the report, the mechanic for the, the, the look for the car, different right. car, and the, my boss. All right. Entonces, Rafael, you have to uh, think what was the issue. Entonces usted pone, yo escuché, I listened to a strange noise. 
in no. the car, right? Okay. It was on the tires, Maybe. right? And it was a screeching noise. And at work, we have a mechanic and that mechanic uh, fixed it, right? All right. Okay. Got it. A ver el suyo, Carlos Roberto. Your story. Cuéntele su historia a Rafael. Okay. Um, could be on many occasions. Um, my students, uh, her in, in your computer. In her, their in their computer. Ah, uh, in your computer, her uh, operating system, uh, the, the license expires. 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 License. All right. Uh huh. License um, expired. Um, uh, the license expired, so they need a a, team, a new key. Uh, I, uh, I I I I be honest. Uh, I don't use uh, original keys. I use um, it's a software. It, you, a you generic can, thing. Something like that, but it's uh it, the name is K K M O S K K M S. Um, the tool is is a software one and, and, and inject a generic key and um obliga as uh, the so and it, it this uh, will re re active and each ten days uh and, and in, in the time. So okay. when the the system operative need uh, uh search the this key, uh, this program uh, is execute and um, that uh, corre encima del sistema para poder hacer la. It runs la, over. It runs over. Uh, it runs it, porque run. corre, verdad? It runs yeah. over over the system. It, mm -hmm. It's run over the system when the system is um, need when the system need or, original key. Oh, right. Um, mm -hmm. Supplanta mm -hmm. the this uh, this this task. It's like the, a, that, that, a, a, a masquerade or something like that, right? Uh, just yeah. allow me to yes. find a word for that. Uh huh. So uh, I I I ne they never uh, buy a key. Uh, we I in my in this case uh, I I'm uh, mm -hmm. uh, install this software and to activate the system operative or the suite office. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, you said another word to plant that. So let's look at this word. Okay, I think it is supersede, supersede, all right, supersede. That's like, mm, just give me one second to see if it is uh, the best option. Aha, uh -huh. super safe, super safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Super safe is replace, all right? It's like it replaces. Oh. Mm -hmm. So oh, okay. it's okay. super safe, super safe. I will write it down on a chat for helping you. Okay, super safe. Uh, me cambió la A cuando le di el, el, el autocorrector, uh, pero es super the worry about state, like this. Super mm -hmm. state, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. that's that the, the key or the password you needed, it's super stated, all right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, okay, no, it is supersede the correct pronunciation. Supersede. Supersede. 
All right, so proceed. Okay. There you are, okay? So it was the solution, right? It was the solution. So you can write your story, all right? Okay. Okay. Hello, teacher. Todos están de oyente. <laughs> Todos están de oyente, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, sí. este... En las salas donde usted estaba, estaba. Ajá. En el cuatro, en el uno, perdón, con... Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se llama este chico. Ok. Teacher, lo siento, acabo de, de conectarme. All right, José Abel, permítame un segundito, lo voy a mandar, Abel, para la sala cinco, ok, con Hernán. Estamos trabajando okay. en la plataforma, go to the platform, all right. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Claudia, ¿con quién me dijo que estaba Claudia? Perdone que lo olvidé. En la sala 1. En la sala 1 está Rafael, Karen, o estaba con Henry. Sí, con Rafael, creo. Henry, Henry, Rafael. No, me acuerdo. Con Rafael. <ríe> ok, la voy a mandar a la sala 2, ¿ok? Bueno, Ahí. ok. All right. A ver, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto, estamos trabajando en la plataforma. Hello, Carlos Ernesto. Okay. No me llegar a la casa, me pongo el día. Okay, no hay problema. Okay, Carlos. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, my dear. I am, I am Magdiel. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you, Magdiel. Mm -hmm. Ok, me dice Carlos que también está de oyente, pero igual lo voy a asignar para que pueda escuchar, ok. Puede pasar ahí a la sala 4. A ver, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. Va para la sala 6, Juan Francisco, ok. I need you to participate as much as, much as you can. Juan. No sé. The next pro. The no, next... no sería next, sería procedimiento establecido. Uh, established procedure. 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 <laughs> All right. Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. Hi. ¿De quién, es esta, ¿De quién es esta historia? Whose story is this? That's Rafael. My... Oh, all right. Rafael. All right, nice. That's my teacher. Good. Mm -hmm. First? Yes, it's good. Mm -hmm. Let's verify uh, the sensor. Uh, how do you say medir? Measure. Mm, to measure mm -hmm. the distance. Uh, between it's como se dice between entre uh, B E T W E N W W no B E T W E E N between between uh, es que son demasiadas palabras técnicas ¿cómo hacemos? porque sería en la mordaza look it up eso? look it up go ahead, look it up remember your tool is your dictionary 
All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mordaza. Yes. Yum. Yum. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, like a um, like shark, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Verify the sensor to measure the distance between the the jab and the connector. This sensor is sensible, is sensitive, sensitive, is very sensitive. Okay, I think the best word for Mordaza is clamp, clamp, C-L-A-M-P, C-L-A-M-P. Uh, because not in this case, it's not in that case. No, in this case, the clam is como uh, una mordaza, pero que, uh -huh. que está diseñada para que los juntas no se separen. All right, so en it's el, like una el, abrazadera or something like that. Más o menos. All right. Pero, pero esta, esta mordaza. Está diseñada para, eh, para remachar mm -hmm. el conector con la manguera. All right. Es, son, son dos cosas diferentes. The connector with the hose, all right. Uh -huh. With the hose, uh -huh. mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, if you want to call it like that, but I think that mechanically it will be the clamp, all right. All right. Yeah, I was just looking it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is clam? Is que clam lo lo relaciono más a otro a otro tipo de abrazadera. Sí. Es mejor ya. Okay. <coughs> The sensor is very sen sensitive. Okay, uh, second. Uh, sensitive, it is not sensitive, right? It's sensitive. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Is the sensor between? Uh, second. Uh, if the sensor Hello, Wilbur. I see that you are alone here. Wilbur, I, are you still? I'm sorry. Wilbur, are you available? Hi, teacher. Hi, Wilbur. <clears throat> I'm. I. Uno de los demás están como oyentes. All right, so I will move you to another room, all right? Uh, but I, I finished my, my, my text. Oh, did you? All right. Yes. Just let me check it out. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have to update this. Refresh. All right. I send in a uh, four minutes ago. All right. Just give me one second because this is giving me a hard time. <laughs> oh my God. Le right. puedo poner el, 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 el compartir pantalla para que lo vea. Oh, ok, ok. Ok, please. Ahorita. 
Bye. All right. Eso es lo que nos como para siempre, la promesa que estamos haciendo de siempre intentar de un nuevo comienzo para ambos. Y también, eso sí. All right, but this is um, talking about your experience as a student, right? As yes, a student. Yes. All right. All right. You did a very good job using the language here. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Aunque la, la tarea era que eh, platicáramos acerca de algún problema que hubiéramos tenido con algún device que hayamos comprado y que no lo hay, hayamos podido setear y tuvimos que llamar al técnico o lo, o lo arreglamos nosotros siguiendo el manual, ¿ok? No, no leo manuales, eso le iba a poner, no leo manuales, iba a poner, ya estuvo. All right, pero mire, está muy bueno su, su approach aquí, está muy bonito, muy bien hecho. All right, usó okay. muy bien el lenguaje. All right, nice. Si quieren, nos vamos para la sala principal. Let's go to the main room now, all right? Ok, ok. Hello, Blanca. Hello, teacher. You got disconnected. Sí, es que me sacó del grupo. Cuando me volví a meter, esta otra vez me volvió a sacar. Oh, ok. Entonces hagamos una cosa. Mire, aquí tiene a Wilber ahorita. En lo que yo llamo a todos los demás... Cuéntele usted su experiencia a Wilber. Tell your experience uh, to Wilber, all right? Ok, teacher. Eso estaba en el libro, ¿verdad? La actividad. Eh, no, en la plataforma. En la plataforma ah, okay. usted tiene que eh, irse a la videoconferencia número 15 y en la parte de la discusión, the discussion forum, ahí es donde estamos escribiendo. Ok, teacher. Ok. El tema es troubleshooting. Ok, I'm going to look for it. Ok. Uh -huh. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Ya me enviaron el, el, la historia de cada uno. Ahorita. Sí, porque le doy update y no me aparece ninguno de ustedes. A ver. Nadie. No. Ay, ¿por qué? Ay, pero siempre me salen. Ok, sí saben la actividad que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Ok. Ustedes le tienen que contar a su compañero su historia de cuando tuvieron algún problema con algún device o algo en su trabajo o acá en su casa, ¿verdad? O con la computadora o cualquier device que hayan comprado y tuvieron que llamar al técnico o siguieron las instrucciones del manual para hacer su propio arreglo ustedes. Sí. Ok. To my supervisor, 
and and she tell uh, to ta department and they called me and 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 took me some process to i had to follow for for fix my computer and first was check it the connection that it was correct the connection internet and then uh, i was to i had to to uh, gave her gave gave him the el mando de la computadora <laughs> The command. The, com the command of the computer. And he, he was to, he prepared, he prepared about something that he know. What can he does? Okay. And only that. But first, first I report the the problem to my supervisor. Okay, so uh, do you work at your at your home? Yes. Mm. In okay. in August, I was work at home, but now I work in in the site. Ah. Okay. In the office. In the office. Yes, in the office. Okay. Okay. Now okay. I have I have to move to the office because I have I I was yeah I I I I had some problems with my com with my computer. So uh, the problem is the network connect yes. connection network with the companies. Yes, mm -hmm. because we need a VPN to connect the internet mm -hmm. in the in the system. Oh, interesting. So so. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Okay, I then. understand. I understand you. Nice. Nice, very good. Very good because you showed what was the problem and then what you did to fix the problem, all right? And you follow the instructions or you follow the procedure, how to report it, and then you were explaining what the issue was. So it's good, it's good. That's the way we have to use the language. But remember, the tip here is try to go to basics, remember. Subject, verb, and complement. That will be the easier strategy to express your ideas. Remember that when you talk about a purpose, hey, something happened with my camera. Here I am. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Hello, technical support. My camera is off. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, go to basics, right? Mm, subject, verb, and complement. Remember when the thing happened, when the action happened, so you are going to use that verb tense. For example, if the action started and finished in the past, then the past tense. But if something, for example, there is an, an experience from Hazel that it is posted, okay, the response posted by Hazel, the last the last part she says is it, it's the only issue I, one second, just let me go there. It's the only issue she, she says, uh, but not my paper. This has been the only time I, I entonces podríamos poner, I have had, all right? I have had an issue with a machine at work, all right? Yeah. Okay, I, teacher. Yes, because it doesn't exclude that maybe this is not going to happen in the future, right? So okay. if, if you use the past tense, it excludes that this will happening. I mean, I'm sorry, will happen in a future occasion, all right? Okay. 
Nice. All right, guys. Necesito que me pongan sus paragraphs. Todo. Ok. Necesito sus paragraphs por ahí. Que se vea en la plataforma que estamos trabajando. Ok. Vamos a ver. Voy a darle update para ver si alguno ya cae de ustedes. Tenemos el de Wilbur. Tenemos el de Hazel. Y nada más, un poquito más. A ver, ¿ya le dieron enter al submit? I'm worried with, with that, teacher. Ok. Ok, now I have some more. Let's look at them, all right? Let's look at them. Give me a second. I will share the screen for you to see, too. See the screen too. Ya cuando nos toca armar una idea, miren, para armar una idea eh, tenemos que irnos primero a las preguntas, ¿verdad? ¿Qué voy a decir? ¿Cuándo pasó? ¿Cómo pasó? ¿Qué hice para resolverlo? ¿Quién me ayudó? Ok, son cosas que podemos ir armando. Claro que lo hacemos mentalmente, ¿verdad? En español no sentimos, pero todo eso lo dijimos. Ok, es lo mismo que vamos a hacer en inglés. That's why we want to tell stories, all right? That's why we want to tell stories. Just give me one second. I was trying to share this and this. Here it is. So let's read. Okay. In group with Hernan, okay? It says, in my experience, I had a problem with my laptop. When? When? Um, okay. Step one, the hard drive had burned. Okay, how, right? Or what was the issue? Uh, the hard drive had burned, burned up, right? So I called the support person, okay? The technical support or the technician, all right? The technician. A new hard drive was bought after the change. All right. Aquí tenemos una voz pasiva. Okay. Pero no es el presente perfect. Okay. After the change, all the programs had to be downloaded and configured to resume the programming tasks. All right. Very good. That was the solution. Creo que era return. Me equivoqué, return. Para retornar a las, a, las, a las tareas de programación. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was to... Even though that's continuing with, all right? In, in the... Okay. Yeah, because in the technical things, subcomputers, they say resume too, all right? Resume is like continue or go back to. Okay. Uh, okay. Have you seen when when YouTube stopped working? Have you seen when when YouTube stops working and then you reopen the application and then it says resume watching? Okay. Return where you were, right? <laughs> watching. All right. So it's understandable. Okay, Andrea Sofia says, my experience has been with the printer, all right. I, uh, with the printer I bought and it didn't print normally. I had to use the manual for guidance. There was a function that didn't work. Mm -hmm. I went to Walmart to ask and they sent some technicians to install the printer correctly. Did it work? Is it funcionó, Andrea? Did it work? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, the after uh, the visit, the technician in my home. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rosa del Carmen says, my experience with troubleshooting in my company is that when the machine, it does not work properly, I collab, remember subject, I collab a technician uh, support. Um, all right from support or, okay, the support technician. And, but it's complicated. 
Why? Because we don't have maintenance technicians. Oh, so it's external. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. It's the company. <laughs> okay. So you have to look up for the company that provides you that service or uh, you have a contract with a company that offer that service? Um, service. Uh, bueno, eh, en empresa prestamos servicio, pero como es pequeña, solo con, este, buscamos personas que ya cono, conocemos de años, que nos ayudan, ah. pero como trabajan, eh, es complicado, tengo, tengo que aco acoplarme en lo que ellos me digan. To their schedule, okay, <laughs> to their exactly. schedule. So you exactly. have to stop working for a while. Exactly. Oh, yes, that's complicated. All right. Thank I am you. responsible to report a minor fault. All right, yeah, good. I, <laughs> yes. I, I'm so sorry for you. You have to <laughs> yes. deal with technicians. It's not so easy. All right. Call up to Superman. <laughs> Or MacGyver, right? MacGyver. Yeah. Do you remember MacGyver? MacGyver. Okay. We have three four left in my workplace, and one of them had a problem. It doesn't lift. Wait, so I called up the technician, and I was spending to the fixing, and the problem was solved. Carrying up a uh, news. Okay, a new fork or some new forks. And since then, I have been watching for any problem, but till today, nothing has happened. Great, great, okay? Everything is safe over there, all right. Thank you everybody for sending your, your paragraphs. Eso no quiere decir que no espero los de los demás, okay? Espero los de los que han estado de oyentes, por favor, hacer esta práctica. Ya ven que a la hora de que uno quiere expresar la, la idea, nos quedamos así, eh, uh, u, i, e. yes, that's the exercise, okay, that's the exercise. All right, now let's continue then. It's nine o'clock, so I will call the roll, people. So please get ready. Now uh, we could say settle down here, okay? And... Um, Please remember you have to turn your cameras on. I need to see your faces. And okay. All of you are so good looking, guys. Mostly when you are tired. After work, you look so good. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> nice. Okay. One second. Uh -huh. Okay, today is October the 13th, right? Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez, Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez, present, present teacher, Carlos Ernesto Perez, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Yes, I know you are a listener to, tonight, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio, present teacher, Claudia Milet Coreas. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio del CID. E Eric Jose Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Still on the road, all right. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Juan, there you are. All right. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Saúl García Morales. Present teacher. Okay. Are you home now, Magdiel? Not yet. I am home. Oh, yes. great. Rafael yeah, Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Nice. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Well, he's not anymore. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Okay. José Adelis Aguirre Mendoza. 
Your present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Okay, people, try not to skip any class left, all right? Nos quedan pocas clases, así que por favor, tratemos de estar siempre presentes y los 120 minutos, ¿ok? Lo decimos para que salga usted con un buen score, con una muy buen eh, porcentaje, ¿verdad? Ok, then, let's continue, guys, because we have this troubleshooting, uh, I mean, this new unit. Troubleshooting was the last thing, all right, unit three. So now we are starting unit four, yes! the last unit. Woo, we survived. Nice. All right. We uh -huh. we have our heads above water. All right. <laughs> nice. Okay. So allow me to share this with you. Okay. This is unit for general topic, right? This is our general matter, okay? It's very important because we need to express ourselves and we need to understand, right? We need to understand um, all the rules and manuals, right? In our company, policies, procedures, right? So we want to identify the language we need to use to express procedures and policies, all right? So they are rules, they are regulations, they are mm, restrictions, they are prohibitions too, mm, could be, but mm, no that much. But yes, they are, all right? Because they show the way that you have to behave in the company, okay? The policies. And the policies we are going to see, they are related with our company, okay? And usually the company have, I mean, the company has different kind of policies. Policies, real, um, related to the customers, related to the um, um, activity of the company. Uh, it has for the suppliers, they have policies. For purchasing, they have policies. Uh, for returning the products, there are policies too. But mostly we are going to concentrate in those policies referring to human resources, all right? To human resources. All right, then you are part of the human resources. You are part of the force of the work of your company, okay? The workforce, all right? So the first topic from this unit will be how to use should. We know this model verb at this moment, all right? Hasta donde estamos, conocemos este verbo modal. How to use should will be as if we are just placing Advices. ourselves. Yes, placing ourselves in the workplace referring to human resources behavior, all right? And yes advice it's important this word is really important to give advice all right to give advice but we are going to check something um, according to this objective okay we trace this by the end of this lesson participants will be able to use should to talk about policies in their workplace all right so in your workplace there are policies related to your behavior, right? Okay, this is our agenda for this video conference number 16. Um, we are now in number three, all right? We are right now in number three, workplace policies discussion. And we have 
the next step will be to role play the conversation on page 39 and the breakout rooms we are going to practice that conversation and we are working over the comprehension pair work then we are going to mm, do the written exercises on page 40 and the session one on one is available all right so let's start let's start by this this is our discussion all right this is our discussion and we are going to try to um, elicit some vocabulary from here all right you are going to give the meaning in english all right so this is the exercise for our discussion what is a policy? What is a policy? Okay, Jose Abel, what is a policy? A policy is a set of ideas or plans that is used as a basis for making decisions, especially in polit politics, economics, or business. Thank you very much. And it says politics, right? Politics. Politics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, that's in general. That's in general. A policy is a set of ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they are also plans, right? Plans. If we have an idea, okay, we have to um, uh, give our point of view or it's based on an experience, something had happened before that caused a problem. And then we have to create a plan, all right? We have to create a plan how to proceed, all right? How to proceed. But the policy will be that it allows you to do something or it doesn't, all right? It doesn't. For example, uh, we could say that it's a statement of what to do and what not. That's a policy, all right? That's a policy. The policy is the statement, all right? But the procedure is how you are going to apply that policy. What are the steps? What are the instructions or the process to follow in order to apply it, right? In order to accomplish it, the policy, right? So we could say that a policy is a statement. A policy is a set of ideas, right? Or plans, okay? Uh, that are a base for making decisions, all right? All right, now that we know that what a policy is, are there policies in your company? Are there policies in your company? Oh, my company is full policies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you give us some examples? Uh, we have a bank, and then the base of the whole bank is policy, policy for human for everything. resource, for TI, for security, for everything. We have policy for everything. Yes, because you have norms, right? You have rules, you have procedures in order to not having a chaos, right? <laughs> in order to avoid problems uh, or also in order to correct 
uh, any behavior that is not correct. And it happened, it was not uh, included in the policies list, right? So it becomes a new policy, right? It becomes a new policy over another policy. And then, as we say yesterday, the beautiful word, adjust the policies, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. when, when you create a policy, you have to create uh, two processes. Okay, mm -hmm. because you have to visualize all the fields this can affect, right? Or all the people that can be affected with that policy. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. So it's not just to write the policy. No, it has to uh, be, uh, I can say, tailor-made, right? Como hecho a la medida, tailor-made, right? So yes, it's not the same policy for a bank that it is for a school, right? They are completely different fields, right? So they need different policies uh, because for example, in a church, you don't behave as you behave in your school. Even though you have to behave correctly or have a good behavior, but there are different rules because of the activities we do in every place, right? Or in, or in different companies. All right. So, uh, Tony said about the policies that in the bank um, are applied. Now, let's look at this ones. These are workplace policies, okay? Code of conduct. Code of conduct. It means that you have to be respectful. It means that you have to be loyal to the company. You have to be honest or here or here. Maybe we have all the value statements, right? The value statements, what the company expects from you, all right? That you have to be responsible. So that's a code of conduct. There are misbehaviors. There are bad behaviors and they are included in that policy. Uh, how they are going to act um, in front of these bad behavior, right? There are procedures to follow. All right. What about recruit, I mean, I'm sorry, recruitment policy, recruitment policy, okay? How to add people to the company, right? How how to um, recruit people, okay? Uh, new people, yeah, okay, new staff. The procedure they are going to follow too, right? Okay, what about the internet and e email policy? Internet and email policy. What do you think about that? Do you have an internet and email policy in your companies? Yes, yeah. teacher. All right, all right. You cannot use those Facebook, resources. What's okay. up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Social network. All right, you cannot use that in the... Um... In my case, we, are, we have a limit restriction, restrictions. Okay, okay. So the permissions in the system are well um well made yeah okay nice what about the mobile phone mobile phone policy mobile phone policy guys mobile phone policy in my workplace we only can use the phone uh, only if, if we going to talk about a uh, with another client. Oh, okay. Uh, because we talk them with WhatsApp. We mm -hmm. use WhatsApp, but it recommended only use to talk with the client. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what about the non-smoking policy, guys? Is there one in your companies? Or are you allowed to smoke in your office? 
No, teacher, we have um uh, uh in a uh, material. Oh, okay, flammable. Uh, flammable material. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's dangerous. Okay, that's for safety. All right, that's for safety. Good. Uh, what about a drug and alcohol policy? Do you arrive drunk to your company? Do you drink alcoholic beverages in your company? No. Are you allowed to do things like that? No, right? So, no. so you have a drug and alcohol policy and it has to be written guys it has to be written because if the company doesn't have these written it means that you are allowed to do it all right so the company has to have these policies well written and clearly written all right let's look at the next one health and safety policy do you have a health and safety policy Okay, um, anti-discrimination and harassment uh, policy. Do you have that? Well, that I think it is uh, separated from the code of conduct. Yeah, the code of conduct because um, between people, we have to be respectful, right? And we have to respect ideas. We have to respect their likes and dislikes, right? but doesn't have to affect mine. So anti-discrimination is, um, I think included uh, in the code of conduct, but there is another policy that has to be well-written. It's harassment policy. Uh, in, well, years ago, it was supposed to be established only for women women could uh, only um, claim about the harassment, but now it's for everybody, all right? It's for everybody, not only women. It could be all for men too, right? It could be for men. Women may be affecting, okay? May be affecting uh, men in the company now, okay? In these days, it's, totally different as years ago, all right? So it has to be well written. The grievance handling policy, mm -hmm. grievance. You know what's that? No teacher, what it means. If I'm not wrong, it's uh, when you have loss in your family or maybe, um, yeah, you're grieving. It's a luto, right? When someone okay. dies in your family, so you have to follow a procedure, right? Maybe for your leave, maybe for your time off, all right? Okay. Or if uh, the insurance covers this person, right? Your health insurance from the company covers these losses, so it has to be well written over that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Just let me confirm exactly the other word. All right. Because it says something. Okay. Oh, all right. No, this is similar to the other word, okay? Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Um, bravement. Oh, the other is bravement. It's not grievance. Okay, grievance is when someone um is not um 
I mean, cuando alguien presenta una queja de usted, all right? Uh, that's grievance okay. or injustice, injustice, all right? Okay. Maybe you mistreat someone or you were mistreated too. That's including, mm -hmm. included there, all right? That's included there. It's not the luto. Luto is another word similar the, the, that, than that one, all right? It's That's grievance, okay. Yes, grievance is not a luto, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. grievance is, uh, yeah, an injustice. Maybe someone is, maybe you have a lot of work and the other doesn't, or maybe, maybe you are mistreating someone, all right? And you are behaving bad with that person, how you are going to handle that in the company. That's what this is about, all right? Okay, okay, okay. thank you. All right. What about the discipline and termination policy? Discipline and termination. Huh, you are suspended. Hmm. All right. Why? Because you did this and this and this, and you have three folds. So go to rest. All right. Or termination. Okay. Then you are fired. Right. Then the uh, social media use. Mm -hmm. Social media, you said already, that is not allowed, right? Or it's controlled or is restricted, all right? And what about the dress code? Do you have a dress code in your companies? Can you arrive in shorts to your company? No, teacher. No, right? Uh, but you can go in sneakers. Can you go in sneakers? And sometimes, Danny? but in my workplace, we have a dress code. Oh, all right. All right. What about t shirts? T shirts, guys? We, we can go with mm, desmangadas or. Sleeveless. Sleeveless. Mm -hmm. Sleeveless. Así lo voy a escribir en el chat. Ok. Sleeveless. Sleeveless. Mm -hmm. Sleeve es manga. Sleeveless de es manga. All right. All right, guys, now we are going to continue because we need to see how we can talk about policies in our company and also how to express ourselves using should, all right? Using should, there we go. So let's go to our page number 39, page 39. You ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, then. Here it says, hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. 
you shouldn't do it. I think so too, okay? We also have that policy in my work too. It's redundant, but okay. So, um, get 30 seconds to read it, okay? And then you tell me if you have a question about the vocabulary in this conversation. All right, is there any questions so far? Okay, then let's listen to Rosa and Claudia, please. Okay, teacher. Hey, Max, okay. look. I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, your children shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. As sure you notify your superiors if you don't something wrong. Yes, you should. I see another police we have at me word is the use of drugs. No, nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. All right. Now, guys, uh, solo esta, miren, notify, notify, all right, notify. And this one is superiors, 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 all right? Notify, superiors. That's the correct pronunciation. Okay. This is the correct way to say this, all right? It's not that you are making the drugs, it's that you are into that, all right? So should do, nobody should do. Nobody hace el negativo, por eso no digo shouldn't, ¿verdad? Nobody es nadie, y nadie nos hace un negativo. Entonces, por eso aquí, should do drugs, suena así como, de, deben hacerlo, no, because nobody, nobody is nobody, right? Okay, so we are going to the breakout rooms again. Okay, and there are two questions below. It says, what are some policies at Max's company? What should a worker do if he or she makes a mistake? All right, so this is what you are going to answer, but first you have to practice this all right at least at least once and then you switch roles all right que vamos a ir a hacer al break of room practice dialogue um, to read and complete the question and work all right good mm -hmm. Vaya, cuando lleguemos allá, de una vez a trabajar, ¿ok? De una sola vez, vamos. Ah, tengo varios oyentes todavía, ¿verdad? 
Eh, Maidiel, ya lo tenemos listo. Eh, Pedro, ¿todavía está ahí quietecito? Bueno, él no está quietecito, él está ocupado, pero está oyendo. A ver, Henry, ¿ya llegando? Todavía no, ¿verdad? En five minutes. Ok, no problem. Uh, ¿A quién más tenía? ¿A Carlos Ernesto? ¿Carlos Ernesto aún no ha llegado? Ok, sigue de oyente, muy bien. Y había otra persona manejando. Uh, uh, uh. Bueno, esperemos entonces que todo salga bien. Vamos a ver. Ok, Pedro. Yeah, I understand. ¿Y Juan ya está listo? Oh, Juan. Ok, voy a, entonces a enviarlos así como estaban en la anterior. Ok. Uh, les va a llevar un poquito más de tiempo practicar la conversación, pero vamos a hacerlo, ¿ok? Para no mover a los oyentes. Entonces, aquí quedan Blanca y Maldiel. Hola, teacher. Vaya, Maguiel, usted va a trabajar con Blanca aquí en la, en la sala principal. Ok, teacher. Ah, tenía a Eric José también de oyente, ¿verdad? ¿Está trabajando ahorita, Eric? No lo veo. Oh, ok. Carlos Roberto. You may join your room. Ok. Please join, guys. Please join. Pedro está dos veces. Hello, Magdiel. Hello, Blanca. <coughs> ok. Could you share? Share the uh, okay. screen. Ok, let's repeat. Repeat. <coughs> Ahorita. Okay, Henry, I assign you to room eight. Okay. Mm, si gusta, repasamos entonces. Okay. Okay. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. <laughs> If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you not notify your supervisors if you do something wrong yes you should I, uh, 
is is enough to kill you. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah. Okay, Karen. Stick to the plan. Okay. Go practice with me. Vinicio, do you want? Okay. Go ahead. Um hey Max. Hey Max, look. I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if, if you do something wrong? Yeah, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody shoot the drugs. We also have that policy in my work, too. You shouldn't do it. I think so, too. Okay. Okay. We need to Ahora, switch. Yeah. Okay. Ahora, um, si quieren... Uh, Delen ustedes, cambien el rol y después okay. volvemos a cambiar. Ok. En ese caso, voy a empezar. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies have you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in, your, in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have in my work is the at use. At my work. At my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay. Okay. And now, hey, you and me. Uh, uh, answer. We are. We can answer the questions. Okay. Okay. What are some policies at Max companies? Nobody should drugs. Should do drugs. Uh huh. Nobody should do drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Drugs are not available. Yeah. Like that. Very good, guys. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. Look, this is the word that I was talking uh in about the grievance and the grieving. All right. They oh, are okay. totally different. Okay. I will write them right here for you to, to check this out later, all right? This is okay. like this. Okay. Grieving. That's el duelo o el luto, all right? Grieving. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Grievance. Okay. Yes. Grievance. You see, they are similar. Uh -huh. They are similar. Yeah. That's why I was yeah. confused. At this, uh, but... And not really because I knew that, but <laughs> I got confused at the moment. But now, grievance is when um, you have to rein reinverse. I um, mean, um, uh, to return or to um, ask for reparación de daños, right, or something like that. When someone eh, cuando alguien se queja y usted le ha hecho un, un daño, entonces le tiene que devolver, ¿verdad? O reparar okay. el daño que ha hecho. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. okay. Pero siempre es queja e injusticia, all right? Ok, excelente. There you are. I'm sorry. Gracias, yeah. gracias. Thank you. Ok, guys. The second one. Sir. Se sería la otra, ¿verdad? Y... Eh... 
uh, talk about mistakes. Um, if you ever see the uh, police sign, was talking about the the kind of mistake. But if you ever request about the reader reading, sorry, I I I, I can see. Okay, hello, here I am. <laughs> hello. Okay, you are talking about number two, right? It says, what should a worker do if he or she makes a mistake? It means, uh, I mean, mistake by itself is not in the conversation, but there is a synonym, okay? There is a synonym over there. For example, uh, this, uh, I mean, in this question where it says, and should you notify your superiors, if you do something wrong, yes, do, do something wrong is a mistake, all right? Correcto. Guys? Yeah, it's a teacher. Yes, okay. Okay, then there is the answer, right? You should notify, all right? What should a worker do if he or she makes a mistake? Then you should notify your superiors, all right? Yes. All right. Did you practice already, the three of you? No, no we, we are... Uh... Respondiendo la, las preguntas. Estamos respondiendo las preguntas. All right, all right. He or she makes a mistake. Notify your superiors if you do something wrong or if you make a mistake. Yes. Ok, si usa lo repasamos nuevamente. Hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees, should wear a uniform always? Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do, do it. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Si usa, empieza. Oh, no. I'm going to start. No, no problem, Blanca. No problem, Magdiel. We are all here now, all right, with you. Okay. 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 You can stop sharing, please. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So, guys, what did you write in number one? What did you write in number one? Group one, Ellen Nilsson, Karen, and Rafael. The first one, nobody should do drugs. All right, that's one of the policies, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. um, the employees always wear a uniform. All right. Wear, I like this, open, wear, wear. Mm -hmm. Por eso es que lo, lo oye como wear, pero es 
abierto aquí, ¿eh? Where, where. Where. Yes. All right. Yes, they should wear a, a uniform, right? All right. What about you, Karen? Did you find another? Yes, let me. Okay. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. And the one says, uh, if you, you if you do something wrong, yeah, you, you notify your superior. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that will be the third one. All right, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about number two? Uh, we have Wilbur again. Were you alone working, Wilbur? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, come on. No problem, teacher. No problem. All right, I feel bad for that. All right. Did you answer number two? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, what was your answer? Uh, the worker uh, should correct his or her mistake. Don't do it again. Okay. Yeah. But the policy in that case? Yes. The policy will be to yeah. notify to notify your, okay. your mistake, right? That will be the policy, notify your mistake. But um, who are you going to report to? Uh -huh. Who are you going to report to? Uh, you are going to report to your superiors, all right? To your superiors. All right, guys. So now we check only just one thing. How do we structure sentences using should and the negative form, all right? Vamos a ver, acordémonos. Lo básico es que, or the basics are um, of should are this, look. You write a subject mm -hmm, plus should, okay? or shouldn't, a ver. ¿Cómo es la forma del verbo que vamos a utilizar para esas oraciones? A ver. What verb form are we using when we use should? Infinitive. Yes, infinitive. Tell me. Was it Ricardo? Sorry, so say future, but I didn't know it's infinitive. Yes, it is. It is, but the very infinitive because you don't have to use two. Just the base form of the verb, all right? Base. But we use should a like auxiliar in this case in this case is the word should is um before the verb yes it is yes it is after the verb it goes the complement all right the complement anything we want to say all right so there you have the structure for negative and for affirmative all right subject plus should or shouldn't, the base form of the verb plus the, the complement. So let's look at some examples, all right? Let's look at some examples here. You are going to read them. You are going to read them, all right? No importa que se atropellen ahí, pero que se oiga la lectura, all right? Vamos a ver. Okay, here is the first one. Okay. 
We're going to read it, teacher. Yes, please, please read. Our violin teacher always says, to go to great lengths, you should practice every day. All right, nice. So here we have subject, look, subject, then should, plus the verb in the base form, and then the complement. Here we have an adverb, right, every day. So uh, this is the way to structure this. This is the way to structure this. But in what context? In what context? This is advice, all right? This is advice. All right, let's go and check this one. You should work for a 44 hours, a full-time day shift. You shouldn't work longer than eight hours a day. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. 44 hours, dream. excuse me? It's a dream. <laughs> yes, <laughs> utopy, uh, right? <laughs> okay, aquí le vamos a poner a week, all right, a week, a full-time shift. Mm -hmm. In a, ah, le vamos a poner acá para que suene mucho mejor. In a full time day shift, shift. All right. Okay. Here we are. You see the first one. Mm -hmm. You should, mm -hmm. subject, should, and the verb in the base form. All right. You should work for 44 hours a week in a full time day shift. You shouldn't work longer than eight hours a day. You shouldn't <laughs> write negative, right? Subject, shouldn't, and the verb in the base form, work. And then we have the complement, longer than eight hours a day. All right, what is this? In, one co in what context are we using should? Um, supposed to. All right, not in, not in that exactly context because this is for real. All right, is it is on? I mean, it is by law. All right, this is by law. So this is a policy. All right, this is a policy. Um, this is the situation because we have regulations. Regulations are policies too, all right? This is a regulation and it's a regulation by law, all right? By law. So in that context, we use should. Uh, there is another, me preguntaba um, su compañero Magdiel acerca de must, okay? Must. Realmente en los tratados de ley, en los decretos y en todo eso, como es un deber, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí no sería este deber, sino que sería el deber de obligación. Este es el deber de eh, sugerencia, ¿ok? You should, all right? Pero you must es el deber de obligación y ese es el que se escribe en las leyes. You must, ¿ok? Porque si usted no lo hace, entonces le cae el castigo, right? Entonces viene la, eh, el, el reclamo, la demanda, ¿verdad? Ok, then let's look at this one. Mm -hmm. The company should grant three days for paternity leave. Time has to be taken within... 15 days in the date of birth. All right. This is another context of regulations. All right. Regulations. These are workplace policies, right? These are policies that cover or protect the workers. All right. So the company should grant three days for paternity leave. 
All right. Y vemos ahí cómo se usa también que para terceras personas no cambia should, ¿verdad? The company should. Y el verbo no se ve afectado por la tercera persona. No le vamos a agregar la letra S, ¿verdad? ¿Okay? Aquí sería it should grant. No le vamos a poner grants, ¿verdad? All right. And then the last one. You sure call in the report answer answers or turnings in the fifth business hours or according procedures. Procedures. All right. Procedures. This is not by law. This is not by law. This is an internal rule. All right. This is from your own company. There are companies that they say, they decide uh, how much time it's going to be acceptable for not marking a tardiness, right? But there are other companies that if you miss just a few minutes, maybe five minutes, then it applies a discount, right? So it, it's a different policy. Of, I mean, this is a policy, but it's, internal it's not by law it's not by law all right and now yes the last one last one last one and last one all right you should dress appropriately properly with your job position all right all right so have, <laughs> have these Ever I happen watch, to you? I watch myself the, <laughs> by the... uh -huh. If you could see what's the other part of this meme, uh, oh my God, you will laugh. <laughs> All right, you will laugh. Uh, I just took that off. I um, clipped that part. All right, I clipped that part. All right. Mm -hmm. I se los mando por el WhatsApp la otra parte. All right. Para que se rían un poquito. All right. So, yes, you should. And then the verb in the base form. All right, guys. Um, eso del dress code no es por ley, ¿verdad? O sea, no está escrito en la ley que usted tiene que ir vestido formalmente. No, es parte de el perfil que quiere mostrar su compañía. It's part of the profile that they want to show or they want to um, reflect to their customers, right? All right, guys, time is over. So remember you have to submit your homework up to number 16 today, all right? What happened? Tell me, tell me. Hey, guys, what's going on? A ver, no. pídanles que cuenten el chiste. Ah, ya lo encontraron, el, el chiste. ¿Encontraron el chiste del meme? Ajá, ajá, ajá. Ya me dejaron eh, picada. Eh, no, it's, a very, it's a very good meme, teacher. Ah, <laughs> ah sí lo encontró. The meme? ¿Sí lo encontraron? Replay it. A ver. El de Chore. El de Chore. Ajá. El de Chore. Ah, algo dijeron. Vamos la a leyenda ver. que tenía la imagen. Ah, hoy sí ya la encontró. Ok. All right. <laughs> ok. Guys, time is over. So allow me to uh, roll calling, I mean. All right. This is the part that we have to do. Vaya, los voy a ir diciendo rápido para que salgamos rápido. Vamos a ver. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Blanca Gracias, Alejandra teacher. Portillo Bermúdez. Gracias, Carlos teacher. Ernesto Pérez. All right, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Claudia Yamile Present, Correas. Present. Present, teacher. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del CID. Present, teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present, Eric teacher. Host, all right. Uh, Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present, teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. 
When are you there? Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Maidiel Esau García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Adelis Aguirre Mendoza. Good present teacher. Okay, Henry, thank you. And Pedro Alexander Osorto Sanchez. Ya le estoy poniendo Alberto, Pedro. Ahí está de oyente. I'm sorry. All right. Pero es Alexander. Okay. Siempre la teacher les cambia los nombres, ¿verdad? Okay, guys. Ah, the video. I mean, the session. Uh, Alguien dijo que se iba a quedar ahora. Who said so? Yo te echo. Ok, así ah, es cierto. Estábamos entre Blanca y usted. Vaya, vamos a ver. Sí, ahí vamos. Nos quedamos entonces con Magdiel. See okay. you tomorrow. See you Bye. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Ok, it's time to hit the sack. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Juan. I'm sorry, Magdiel. I'm sorry. <laughs> que le estaba Not diciendo this. adiós a Juan porque a veces se, se levanta o, o se va en el almuerzo y yo no sé qué le pasa a este muchacho ahora. Vamos a ver si ha quedado ahí. A ver, solo lo voy a poner aquí. Bye. Hoy oh, sí. <laughs> Very usted well. Lo, usted mm -hmm. lo mandó. <laughs> ajá, no, no lo saqué. Ahí está. Pero, oh. ajá, ya cuando él regresa ahí, ya entonces lo hace. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. How can mm -hmm. I assist you, my deal, tonight? I want to practice sure. the, the shoot. Shoot in, in comparison with um, must. Oh, God. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. when, when we use must and when we use should, Okay, must is when there is no option, all right? No option. It's similar to it's have to. It's similar to have to, okay? Have to. have to is obligation. Must is obligation to. For example, is the language that a mother will use with a kid to discipline, all right? So yeah. we give the guidelines at home. We say this is going to be made this way and you have to follow these rules etc so you say for example you must clean up your room right as a mom and as a son when you listen to your mom saying you must it means that if you don't do that then you receive you know <laughs> retribution oh, right oh. <laughs> yeah uh-huh and you know there were meant Mint or mine, no sé cómo Mint, mint. Es, mint. Mm -hmm. And in this case, how, how what, what do you mean? Uh, for example, when, uh, uh, as I was saying, and policies and the policies, uh, mm -hmm. they're, they are rules, they are regulations. And if you do something, there are some procedures to follow. Um, Maybe for correcting, and you stay there, all right, as a warning. Mm -hmm. But maybe there are other rules that you cannot break, all right? So in those cases, when you hear must, it means that there is no option to fail. It's not option to break that rule up, all right? So, okay. for example, if we say break out, right? Okay. So, just so give me one second here. We we would uh, say uh, must is mm -hmm. a, some more more obligation that that should yes. and might or mean. Yes, because should is like um, 
like suggestion, all right? Uh, just mm -hmm. let me check regulation of work in El Salvador. If you write that, uh, then you will see, you must, you must, you must, all right? For so. example, in the, in the constitution, the constitution, Yes, it's mandatory. Yes, it's, it's mandatory. mandatory. Yes, mm -hmm. it's oh, mandatory. Okay. But there are other rules that are established by your own company. They are no law. They are not law. So mm, it's not that they can be uh, broken. Rules. Broken, I'm sorry. But um, because there is a corrective procedure, all right? There is a corrective okay. procedure because they give you the opportunity to correct it. And if you don't correct that conduct or that behavior, then you can go or it can finish in a termination, right? <laughs> or firing, yeah. all right? In a, 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 but if we talk about the regulations by law, then we say you must. Just allow me to look it up because there is one in the war code, I think it is. Um, uh, no, it's employment. 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 Somos empleadores. Uh, no, no. Employment no. es empleo, es el nombre. Employment oh. uh, law in El Salvador. There you will see some must examples, just get one second. Okay, employment law in El Salvador. Oh, well, this is just the guide. This is just the guide, it's not the real law. Uh, let me check if I can find it out, but it's too long, all right? It's too long, so. Mm -hmm. No, in this document, <clears throat> I cannot find it. Okay, allow me to look it, look it up uh, with, Another term, it will be, yeah, work. Oh, oh, Salvador. Oh, labor code, labor. Labor is also trabajo, all right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> labor oh. obligations, it said. Labor, mm -hmm. labor obligations. Uh, this is legally all right this is mm -hmm. legally there is no option if okay. you if you don't follow these uh regulations then you will have consequences right mm -hmm. legal yeah. consequences okay well by well, now I, yeah. in this document mm -mm, i cannot find a list are giving you an example. All right. Registration and authorization. No, this has only two, two pages. Este no es el código, este solo es un, eh, como un booklet. Pero vamos mm -hmm. a ver otra vez. Labor code. From, from El Salvador. Okay, I think this is the one. Mm -hmm. mm, no, either. Uh, no. Hace un rato lo abrí ese. Ahorita lo voy a encontrar así por el historial. Tal vez lo encuentro porque no borré el historial. Vamos a ver si lo encuentro. Uh -huh. Teacher, uh, the, uh -huh. one example of the most, then the should, uh -huh. maybe we should complete the, <clears throat> the, the homework and the platform. 
Yes, of course. <laughs> that would be one good example. There yes. is no, no obligation. Uh, uh, yes, it's a, it's only a commitment. It's a commitment, but it is not an obligation. If you don't do it, then you are going to fail, right? You are not going to pass. But I cannot uh, take any... Um, uh, I can't take any action to correct it, right? You just didn't do it, okay? Then you are not uh, included in the next um, in the next module, right? So mm -hmm. that's the only consequence that you are going to get, right? Yeah. In the mm -hmm. next next model, uh -huh. model, model six. Uh huh. That's, that's el último, the, the beginner. Yes. No. Uh, de los principiantes, sí. Y yes. después, sí. Beginners. Ah, bien, el intermedio. Eh, bueno, ah, se conoce como pre-intermedio, pero porque son igual otros seis, ¿verdad? Entonces, los primeros son pre-intermedio, los primeros tres, y los siguientes son el intermedio. Uh -huh. Y una clasificación que hay, que le llaman A1, A2. Eh, Nosotros, ¿en qué nivel así estaríamos? Ahorita estamos en A1. A1. Sí, ahorita estamos en A1. Somos beginners. All right. ¿Quién, estamos... ¿Quién lo llaman de esa forma? Esa es la clasificación para que usted pueda obtener un empleo o para que usted pueda obtener una beca. ¿Verdad? Es una clasificación de qué, eh, qué tanto maneja el idioma. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, hasta, hasta la clasificación a uno es como hasta ciertos temas que ya están establecidos, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. ¿Qué manejo de, de los tiempos verbales? ¿Hasta dónde eh, llega a ese nivel, verdad? Y luego, pues, el A2, luego viene el B1, el B2, luego el C1 y el C2. ¿Mm? Ok. Ajá, eso eh, con el TOEFL o con el TOEIC se puede clasificar usted, ¿verdad? Someterse a uno de esos exámenes para saber en qué nivel usted está. Hay varios exámenes que puede tomar en línea eh, como para practicar y poder uh -huh. ubicarse más o menos por donde anda su conocimiento. Esos los puede encontrar en YouTube, hay un montón, usted le pone así. Eh, eh, se llama test de ubicación, ¿verdad? Test de ubicación. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Acá. No, no lo encuentro en donde estaba el listado completo, digamos, en donde estaban todos los must, ¿verdad? Donde estaban todos los must de la ley. O sea, esas son uh -huh. cosas inquebrantables. De Ahí ley. es donde usamos must. For example, you must eat right you must eat you must um take your medicine when you are sick all right um son cosas que no puede cambiar they have to be that way mm. Mm -hmm. but for example should is just a suggestion some are really strong suggestions of those uh, that they use in the regulations all right entonces, veamos un poquito esas, las que habíamos hecho ahorita, digamos, las oraciones estas, ¿ok? Para que vuelva a comprender esas oraciones, porque se lo voy a buscar. Lo tenía, pero se lo voy a buscar, ¿ok? Teacher, y la tarea, que, lo que estuvieron haciendo al inicio del párrafo, Ajá. ¿cómo era? No lo escuché muy bien yo para hacerlo en la, en la plataforma. Va, el párrafo lo que tiene que hacer es, ahí en, en la plataforma está la indicación que tiene que escribir una experiencia suya. You have to write about an experience you had with troubleshooting. For example, maybe you bought a device and you couldn't set it up. So you went back to the user's guide manual. And then mm -hmm. you look for the troubleshooting and you follow all the instructions to fix the problem, all right? all right? Or maybe, or maybe you had another experience that you couldn't do it by yourself. So you call tech support and a technician came and helped you fixing that 
um, that uh, issue, right? With the, I don't know, internet, new modem, or maybe a new screen, right? Or a monitor or whatever you buy, all right? Yeah, okay. Got or it. machinery at your workplace, right? Mm -hmm. Machinery at your workplace. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, here we've got something, okay? Por eso le digo los contextos. That's why I call these uh, a context, right? Yeah. Where is this said? Uh, <clears throat> so it says our violin teacher always says, to go to great lengths, you should practice every day. Okay, to go to great lengths, you should practice every day. Okay. A ver, aquí tenemos okay, un idiom, ¿ve? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, eso le iba a preguntar. Uh, that's what an idiom. Mean, lens, great lens. Eh, toda completa la frase es como para llegar muy lejos, right? Mm -hmm. um, but successfully, all right? Successfully. That's the idea here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not suffering, not suffering, or not struggling. This is successfully to go to great lengths you should practice everything all right okay and the and the context is um <laughs> a suggestion but maybe this is a principle all right este es como mm -hmm. un principio de conducta de este maestro así forma a sus estudiantes right so that's a principle es un principio okay. all right in that context we use should all right in that yeah. context, we use should because it's a student, all right? It's a student. The teacher can't take any action more than stop <laughs> giving or, or taking him as a student, right? So mm -hmm. it, that's the only action. He cannot be harmed for that. But what about going to jail, right? So mm -hmm. that's, that's really, really a retribution, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So... That's the mask that I was talking about. All right. So now okay. this one, you should work. You should, mm -hmm. you should work for 44 hours a week, hours a week. Uh huh. In a mm -hmm. full time day shift. In a full time day shift. Correct. So you should <clears throat> work for 44 hours a week. It means that you are able to work overtime, all right? Yeah. Overtime, you should work for 44 hours a week, paid, right? Paid. And then if you work after hours or you do overtime, then mm -hmm. you have to be paid for that too. You should be paid. You should be paid if you work mm -hmm. extra hours, right? So that's why Rafael was saying this is a dream, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's not true, he said. Okay, you shouldn't work longer than eight hours a day. You shouldn't work um, longer than eight hours a day. Y esa era la que complementaba creo que esta. Mm, no, it's not this one. All right. Mm -hmm. That you should be paid. Ah, it was about the salary. Okay, hagamos una ahorita nosotros acá. Okay, aquí. Okay. ¿Qué podríamos decir acerca del overtime? Okay. Mm. ¿Cómo podríamos ponerlo como una regulation o como una rule in the company? <clears throat> Por ejemplo... Mm. El sujeto. ¿Quién you sería should. el sujeto? You. You. All right. You should extra extra time or extra hour. Okay. Lo que queremos es que después de las 44 horas reciba el dinero, reciba dinero o, o pago por eso. ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. you should be paid. All right. You should be paid. Aquí en este caso, el infinitivo que tenemos es be. Be. Uh -huh. Okay. You should be paid uh -huh. if you work after hours. All right. After hours. O podemos decirlo como lo habíamos dicho, if you do overtime. 
All right. Mm -hmm. If you do overtime. Mm -hmm. quería, quería, quería decir si tú, si trabajas, no, si, ¿cómo sería? If you work, if you work, uh -huh. overtime. Overtime. All right. Okay. If ¿Tú deberías, work overtime. deberías recibir pago si trabajas? Extra. Extra tiempo. Después de la hora, exacto. Okay. Porque ya tiene 44, ¿qué tal si hace 48? Entonces mm -hmm. le tienen que pagar. You should be paid if you work overtime. But some companies, they don't have this regulation, <laughs> right? <laughs> so this is just a regulation for some companies and they use should, all right? They use should. Mm -hmm. They forget, forget this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. The, the the other one oh here i've got it this is the the one uh that i think it is okay you see yeah this is the one Esta no la mostré. but look you should be paid with the minimum wage of 12 dollars a day this is our reality in el salvador right this is our yeah. reality uh that's the minimum wage all right or the minimum salary wage is salary too all right you should be paid overtime in case you work more than 44 hours a week all right esto todo esto largo que, te, que tenemos acá lo dijimos acá más corto ¿no? mm -hmm. nice should mm -hmm. be paid overtime in case in case you work more than 44 hours a week. a week. That's if you have a full-time job. What if you have a part-time job? Está mejor como lo escribimos acá porque no todos trabajan las 44 horas, sino que la mitad del tiempo era part-time job. All right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is only applicable for the full-time uh, day shift. Day shift. All right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because for the night shift, it's just a little more. They say that 20% more of the tower. So it's not that much, but it's a little more. More money. Okay. Are we okay so far? My bien? Yes, teacher. I'm okay. All right. All right. Do you want to give me an example? Hmm. I I should mm -hmm. I should complete the homework homework and the platform. Excellent. <laughs> Today. Uh -huh. Exactly. Today. Or tonight. Or tonight. Mm -hmm. Both are good. Mm -hmm. Both work well there. Right, because it says tonight or today, yeah, before 12 midnight, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Ahora una negativa. A ver. Hmm. I shouldn't. Mm. Go go late. Okay. Um go uh, para llegar tarde. Uh don't no llegar tarde. Al okay. trabajo. I shouldn't arrive late. I shouldn't uh -huh. arrive. Arrive late. Arrive mm -hmm. late at work. To work. All right. Okay, arrive late to work. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. That's a regulation. Uh, but okay. by law, it's not restricted. It's not regulated. Every company has uh, its own policy, right? Of yes. tardiness. Tardiness sería para el, eh, llegar a estar, okay? Esa sería como la palabra así, formal. 
okay, the formal mm -hmm. language, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. No more questions, teacher. This one was the one they were laughing at. You see? <laughs> uh huh. You can look it up if you want. You can look it up. This is a very good meme. I don't know if they sent it. No se fijo si lo enviaron al grupo. No me fijé. Uh, I thought Karen sent it, but no, she didn't. Oh. No. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. There is another thing here. Parece el, el, el teacher de física entre todos los profesores, ¿no? <laughs> yeah, ajá, ajá, ajá. It's true, it's true. <laughs> el teacher de física siempre anda así en cualquier uh, parte. Yes, that's true, that's true. Imagine in a formal uh, event in the, in the school. Oh, God, here's the spot, right? Es como la mancha ahí que se ve, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Or oh, when when I, for example, when I class online, uh -huh. we use only only shirt formal. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, only uh, yes, only here. But it's not my case. It's not my case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? I I'm wearing pants. I'm wearing pants. I don't know if you can see. No, I cannot show it. Well, but or I'm pajamas. wearing, no, 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 pajamas, no pajamas <laughs> here, no, no, I dress up correctly, all right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have my black shoes, and they are flats, all right, so Formal yeah, complete. <laughs> yes, yes, always, <laughs> okay, always, teacher. even though I, I normally wear pants or jeans, right, uh, yeah. not skirts, not skirts, all right, mm -hmm. okay, teacher, Yeah. Thank ok, you Dan Magdiel, le voy a terminar de buscar lo del código de trabajo. Le voy a sacar ese pedacito donde está un listado de prohibiciones. Ok, y ahí okay. entonces usted va a ver el must utilizado. Ok. Ok, teacher. There you are. Have All a right. very good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye.